You are welcome to this class and thank you for joining us. Here we want to find the value of x in this equation. x raised to the power 6 plus x raised to the power 4 plus x raised to the power 3 plus x equals to 0. From here, let's factor x out. x is common, so we have x into bracket x raised to the power 5 plus what left here is x raised to the power 3. Then we have plus x raised to the power 2. Then we have plus 1, which is equal to 0. So we have two cases here. We have x equals to 0. And from here as well, we have x raised to the power 5 plus x raised to the power 3 plus x raised to the power 2 plus 1 equals to 0. So we have x equals to 0 as the first solution here. And from here, we can group this one in 2 2 like this. We have x raised to the power 5 plus x raised to the power 3. Let's group it together. Then plus x raised to the power 2 plus 1. Group together, which is equal to 0. And when we factor what is common, let's factor what is common from this first bracket. We have x raised to the power 3. Then what is left here is x squared, then plus 1. Then we have plus x squared plus 1, which is equal to 0. From here, x squared plus 1 is common, so we can bring it out. We have x squared plus 1 out. What is left here is x raised to the power 3. Then what will be left here is plus 1, which is equal to 0. And from here, we have two cases as well from here. We have x squared plus 1 is equal to 0. And as well, we have x raised to the power 3 plus 1 equals to 0. So from this first case here, we have x squared to be equal to minus 1. And since we are finding x, we can take the square root on both sides. And we have square root of x square to give us square root of minus 1. We are expected to get plus or minus here. And the square root of minus 1 is i. So square we cancel square root here. We have x equals to plus or minus i. Because square root of minus 1 is i. That means we have two solutions here. As well. So if the first solution is x equals to 0, let's say the second solution x2 will be equal to minus i, the third solution x3 equals to plus i. Then let's get the other solution that we have there. So from this side now, we can compare this. You can write this as the same thing as x raised to the power 3 plus 1 raised to the power 3 equals to 0. So this will give us the same thing as x raised to the power 3 plus 1. And let's use this identity. From this identity we have a raised to the power 3 plus b raised to the power 3 will give us a plus b multiplied by a square minus a b plus b squared. So when we make use of this identity and we treat a as x and b as 1, so we are going to be having x plus 1, that's a plus b, then into bracket a squared, that's x squared, then minus a b, that's minus x times 1, that's minus x, then plus 1 square. 1 square is t1, which is equal to 0. And also from here, we also have two, you know, possible cases here. We have x plus 1 is equal to 0. And also we have x square minus x plus 1 equals to 0. 
So from here, take plus one there, we have x equals to minus one. So this is another solution which we can call the you know fourth solution. Let's bring it here. We can write x4 will then give us minus one. So that's the fourth solution. Now let's get the other solution from here. So from here we have a quadratic equation and here our a is 1, b is minus 1, and c is 1. Using the formula f c equals to minus b, that's minus minus 1 plus or minus square root of b square minus 1 square plus minus 4a, then c, all over 2a. Then from there, we have x, we now give us minus, that's minus, that's plus, that's 1, plus or minus square root of, minus 1 square is 1, then minus 4 over 2. So 1 minus 4 is minus 3. So we get we then get x equals to 1, plus or minus square root of minus 3 over 2. And square root of minus 3. We can separate it as root 3 times root minus 1. Root minus 1 is same thing as root minus 1 is same thing as r. So we can write this and say this will be. So this will give us x equals to 1 plus or minus root 3i all over 2. Also, we have two solutions from here. That is, the fifth solution we can say that is, so from here, let's try the fifth value of x, x5 to be 1 minus root 3i over 2. And the sixth solution we have x6 equals to 1 plus root 3i over 2 and therefore we have come to the end of this class so we have the solutions here the first being s equals to 0 we have minus i we have i minus 1 and we have 1 minus root 3 i over 2 also 1 plus root 3 i over 2 and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of our videos see you in the next class and bye for now